It's Monday, November 26, 2007, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, your host, and today is Cyber Monday. It's the busiest online shopping day of the year because people are back from the Thanksgiving holiday. They're in their office so they can spend money right in the location where they're supposed to be earning it. This week, President Bush is in Maryland hosting a Middle East summit to try to bring those nations together to solve problems which have been vexing them for generations. But there is hope on the horizon because Syria has agreed to attend. And you know, when Syria is going to be there, it's going to be a real party. Now that the official holiday shopping season has kicked off, how's it going? Well, retailers are reporting that sales are up 8.3% over last year. And even better news, if you are a creditor, debt is up 28%. And speaking of percentages, a new poll reveals that 77%, a staggering number of Americans, feel that the nation is on the wrong track. By the way, the other 23%, well, they process foreclosures for a living. Speaking of poll numbers, the British charity Oxfam is reporting that natural disasters are up fourfold over the last two decades, and hysteria in the media surrounding those numbers up 182%. In France, President Nicolas Sarkozy has promised to purchase 300,000 tasers to keep order. The guy who's the spokesperson for the taser company there in France says tasers cause what he describes as not real pain. For him, real pain, not meeting your sales quotas. And finally, turning to news of election 2008, Republican presidential candidate Duncan Hunter has sent out a strongly worded letter condemning the new Brian De Palma war movie redacted. Because apparently Hunter is now realizing he's never going to be elected president, so he's lowered his sights and now he's shooting for Ebert and Hunter. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum and that's news. Catch you tomorrow, everybody.